Uh, my question is for Mr. Spader. Uh, really enjoyed your performance in the film. Uh, right over here. Yeah. Really enjoyed your performance in the film. Uh, and I was wondering if you could talk about, as an actor, doing the motion capture and how you were really able to bring life to this killer robot. Uh, I, I, I really don't have any idea uh, what was happening. It all happened very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I really was just trying to, to hold on and, and, and stay on the train that was moving very, very quickly. Uh, but I, I will say this, that, that, that I, I arrived in, in London and, and within the first half hour I was uh, I, they put on a suit, they put on all this gear, and uh, I had gone through a range of motion, and then within 15 minutes I was watching me walk around a big room, moving and doing this and that and everything else, and watching Ultron, or at least a formative stage of Ultron on a monitor in front of me. And it just, it started right there. And uh, the next day I was on the set uh, shooting a scene with Scarlet. Um, and so, really, that pace was what it was through the entire project. Uh, and luckily, I'd had uh, some conversations with Joss and, and one fantastic meal with a whole bunch of wine to figure <laughs> out uh, who this guy was. Um, that was it. That really was it. It was uh, just trying to hold on. In the beginning of Avengers 2, you know, this, this kind of, there's some sense, finally, of there being a kind of normal in a way. I mean, there's the, the, it's a well-oiled machine where, you know, tag-teaming each other. It's finally, like, the introductions are over and we're, you know, everything's kind of, you know, we're at work, like we, we're digging our heels in. And, and, and at the end of Avengers 2, I think Widow is, you know, she, she, she let her guard down. She was hopeful for something. Um, I think she had this moment of false hope where she kind of felt like, you know, she kind of put in the work and, you know, there should be some kind of personal payoff and she was ready to accept it and, you know, she realizes that, you know, her calling is a greater one and that's not necessarily something that she's thrilled about, but like, it, you know, that's kind of what is most heroic about her is that she's you know, accepting the call of duty, um, even at her, you know, own personal loss. And um, I think it's an interesting place to kind of leave her there because, um, you know, you, you're, you, there's many different directions to go. I mean, is she going to be able to withstand this um, huge weight that's bearing down on her or is she going to crack under it and, you know, um, and and sort of crumble, you know, not being able to 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 take this huge hit, this huge personal hit that she does. Um, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Well, I, I, I speak in this movie, which is awesome. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm become part of the team, which is awesome, and uh, dive into some really killer aspects of the. Um, I I really like when I sit sitting down with Joss and Kevin back in the day about why I liked and why I wanted to play Hawkeyes, because I didn't understand. I could never do like what these gentlemen do. I don't have that creative of a mind. I, I understood Hawkeye in the sense of he's a human, just with high skill set, so I can tap into that. And I feel like I got to explore a little bit more of that on um, even so outside the skill set. And I thought that was a really, really uh, endearing and, and um, thoughtful sort of um, secret that he had. And uh, I'm excited to kind of see where that goes. <clears throat> I must be mellowing with age, but I want to say this very clearly. The next time I'm not asked the first question... I read uh, Joss's script, I said, I think this is great. Now, ask Kevin, didn't I say that? I said... <laughs> Thank you. Like, yeah, watch it. And I said, I think this is great. Kevin said, you never say that. You can't mean that. I said, yeah, I think it's great. Let's go shoot it. Uh, I really thought it was, a, I thought it was a Swiss watch to begin with, and Josh really created some great new situations for Tony to be in. So rather than dig in my heels and try to rewrite every scene to make them even better if possible, <laughs> I just, uh, I, I showed up and it turned out great. <laughs>